ஹரிப்ரியா ஹரிப்ரியா எஸ் மேம் யா யூ கேன் ஸ்டார்ட் நவ் எஸ் மேம் குட் மார்னிங் டு ஒன் அண்ட் ஆல் பிரசன்ட் ஹியர் ஐ எம் ஹாப்பி டு வெல்கம் ஆல் த பார்ட்டிசிபன்ஸ் அண்ட் ஃபேக்கல்ட்டிஸ் டுடே ஃபார் த செஷன் ஆன் லீன் ஸ்டார்ட் அப் அண்ட் மினிமம் வியாபிள் ப்ராடக்ட் organized by Institutions Innovation Council of Shri Kanyaka Parameshwari Arts and Science College for Women. I hope that you all may enlighten with this session. Prayer should be the key of the day and lock of the night. To start the prayer, I would like to invite Ms. Dana Varshini, 2nd MCOM, to sing our prayer song. Shri Maheshwari Vasavi Nagarishwari தனவர்ஷனி மே ஐ இன்வைட் டாக்டர் ஏ எஸ் நாகலதா மேம் ஐஐசி இன்னோவேஷன் கோஆர்டினேட்டர் டு அட்ரஸ் தி வெல்கம் ஸ்பீச் வெல்கம் மேம் வெல்கம் थैंक यू ஹரி பிரியா இட் गिव्स மீ அன் இமன்ஸ் பிளஷர் டு வெல்கம் யூ ஆல் ஃபார் திஸ் வண்டர்ஃபுல் வெபினார் ஆன் பிஹாஃப் ஆஃப் आवर மேனேஜ்மென்ட் ஸ்ரீ கனகா பரமேஸ்வரி தேவஸ்தானம் அண்ட் சாரிட்டி आवर கரெஸ்பாண்டன்ட் சார் ஸ்ரீ குகிலம் ரமேஷ் சார் आवर பிரின்சிபல் மேடம் Dr. T. Mohanasri, Vice Principal Madam, Dr. T. V. Vanita, Academic Vice Principal Madam, Dr. M. V. Napinai, on behalf of all IIC members of Sri Kanika Parameshwari Arts and Science College, I would like to give a warm welcome for this occasion. Uh, here, uh, the knowledge is very important to be made into a practical application. Though we have a lot of opportunities, identifying the opportunities and making into this point of application is a very big matter so this session will enlighten you in that part i i feel uh, is an opportunity which is provided by our uh, institution to make us be proud and this event should make a grand section success thank you thank you for the warm welcome ma'am now i request ms shushma s chavla ma'am innovation staff member to introduce the resource person thank you hari priya good morning everyone it gives me a great pleasure to welcome our resource person of the day mr k jyoti shankar founder of fort chennai which is initiated to create accident free chennai and the managing trustee at karpagambal educational trust with supports needy students he is an entrepreneur and a highly positive person he loves to support people particularly the entrepreneurs in whatever way possible he is a member of young entrepreneur school he is also a sports lover and plays cricket badminton and chess he is a passionate writer he possesses skills like graphic designing creative thinking and is a strategist as well He has completed his BCom from Madras University 
and is also trained in digital and social media marketing and also completed a course on personality development at Landmark Education Worldwide. It's a great honor to have you with us, sir, on the session of Lean Startup and Minimum Viable Product. Thank you for joining in, sir. Over to you for the session. Uh, so before, uh, with your permission, I would like to launch the poll and I'll give you the detail regarding to this. Uh, dear students, here is the questions will be launched and I would like to, you should choose the answer for this question. So there's a three questions. And number one is about, are you interested in this, uh, starting the business? Number two, what is important to start the business? Number three, which field you would like to choose? So I would like all the students to participate in this and give your opinion. Please start giving the answer. You can see a poll is launched. Yes, are you able to view it on the screen? You can just put it in the chat box if it is a yes. At least a few of you. Yeah, I can see many people are giving the answer. Excellent. Excellent. We start giving the answer. Only 78 have taken part. Now it is 85. Yeah, good. It's not only for the students, even the staff can give the polling. We have 27 students. Students, we are 500 in number. Please take part in the school. A few more minutes. I think girls 187 have been taken part. You are in 500 in numbers. I'll repeat. Please take part. I'm going to end up uh, the polling in one minute. So I request all the students to take part. Either yes or no, please give some opinion. Yes, ma'am. Only 200 students have taken part. So shall I end the poll? Sir, shall I end the poll, sir? Zoom meeting, I think kneeling pause up. Girls, mute yourself. Oh. 
Zoom meeting lah, mampu dah sorry. Yes, dance. Participants are kindly dance. Mute yourself. Sir, uh, sir, can I, sir? Yeah, sure. Uh, sir, uh, if you uh, stop share your window, I can show you here, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, are you interested to start the business? Yes, is given by 176 participants. That is 78 percentage. Only 226 students have taken part. And which source is very important to start the business? Idea have been chosen by many people. Uh, that is 50 percentage out of the uh, 226 students. And uh, which field you would like to choose your business? It is the maximum point is given to online business. Sir. So this is the feedback that we have received uh, from the pool. Thank you, students. Thank you for your active participation. Thank you. So let's stop sharing the screen, sir. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. It's very interesting. I could understand that a lot of people are so interesting. And in the morning itself, uh, I think predominantly those who are interested as joined. I'm happy about that. And one more concern I have is some 73 or 74 people are still waiting in the room, waiting room. Uh, I'm not sure how, how many of them will be like interested to do the business as such. And is there any possibility that people who are not really interested in doing the business and who can quit and make way for the people who are waiting in the waiting room? Is it is it possible in a quick because I don't want to, this to be denied to any people who are really interested. That's the idea. Any possibility that? Uh, sir, we look into that, sir. Actually, all the people are interested, sir. Those who are in, they are really interested. But uh, due to technical issue, they might not be answered. OK. Okay, I'll go with the you start, Thank you. Thanks for the opportunity. <clears throat> the session is all, it's not a, a regular session because we have been witnessing almost through close to two years or one and a half years, whatever, since the pandemic declared. We have attended a lot of meetings, including me. I have witnessed a lot of meetings. But this particular meeting, I mean, this this will have a huge impact in your uh, thinking process the reason is i'm going to like share my own experience in my business and that will be like you can you would have never heard about that and i will tell you in the during the course of this conversation like how it has impacted uh, what i would have done of course it is absolutely straight into the subject it will not debate anywhere This lean startup, today's topic is lean startup and minimum viable product. I believe like few of you who are really interested would have browsed or searched in the, either Googled or you would have seen some videos in YouTube if you are really interested. I believe that somebody would have did this or even many for that matter. If that is the case, I will have been. I will appreciate those people who have really put their effort in knowing something before coming into the session. Even otherwise, it's okay. So when you say lean, we all know the meaning for the word lean, right? Thin, very small. In the in other words, it, it simply means that without like uh, investing too much of money with making a minimal effort you have to start a business that is what it means when we say lean startup not that you have to invest crores of money into the business straight away you can start from scratch you can start from very small the way exactly how you are now 
I really I don't have any clue of what your financial situation is, but still, whoever it is, with idea, I, I have seen a lot of people answering that. Like they have given importance that with the idea we can do, with the skills we can do. That's really appreciable, and I understand that people are already gone through some thinking process into the into creating the business as such. I'm really happy about that. And when we say minimum viable product, we we'll, it's it's a basic fundamental prerequisite for any business person to begin with have to do this minimum viable product study i this will be a kind of two parts initially we will go for the lean startup then we will look into the minimum viable product how we can develop or those kind of stuff stuffs okay so always starts from a scratch because all you know anything for that matter whatever you do we do it twice you wonder how first it is created in the mind then we put it into reality right whatever you do first you think in your mind then you do it in hand or you will take actions about, about that and that is how we have to create a business first we have to create visualize how this business is going to become this visualization is very very critical to achieve anything in your life especially in terms of achieving your business and making it a very big success you have to perceive in your mind like how it will become having the end in your mind you have to start that's the way to begin with did you get that for example if you you want to look your business like a 1000 crores or 10000 crores or even more than that of course it's possible so you know zoho right now they are sitting at 18000 crores as a company the net worth of the company is 18000 crores it's possible because they also started from the scratch anybody for that matter when you visualize exactly how it should become you can you can limit yourself it doesn't matter that you have to make it so big but whatever big from your point of view you can make it you can create it never think about the available resources right now in your hand you can on the go you can keep acquiring that over a period of time it, it will happen you don't think logically don't think that how i can do this how i can build a such a big company don't think that like that way you know any company for that matter whichever is known as very big company now always would have started from scratch so first thing is i would say you have to visualize you have to create in your mind then you make it as reality few examples i have brought in here you know a very big brand samsung right most of you will be having the samsung mobile on your hands but did you do know that they didn't start as a mobile company they started in 1938 as a kirana shop as a provision store just a small provision store you know that can you believe it now if you say now it will be like quite interesting and you will you will be wondering about that but they didn't have the plan of making it so big but still they started as a very small business over a period of time it evolved and in 1970 they started including electronics as their main component or main business till 1970 from 1938 it was just a regular business from 1970 they went very high and they started exporting that is how they evolved now you know samsung is world leader and again one more thing which everybody will be interested to know like is right brothers because they are the one who invented the airplane which we are most of us are flying flying now Right Brothers in invented this flying machine in a garage. Can you believe that? They didn't have the resource. You know what, what happened those days? 
America, they have invested so much of money. They have invested money on one one more percent. I don't even remember that name. And he was expected to create a flying machine. In fact, airplane. They had the idea. As a country, they had the idea. They want to invent that. To invent, they have given so much of money and resources from, and the government is sponsoring. You know, government was sponsoring those days to create the airplane. Parallelly, or rather simultaneously, during the same period, Wright brothers started experimenting something. They they did so much of effort from the heart, passionately. In fact, they have been doing having a cycle shop and those kind of thing stuff in those days. They achieved it before the government sponsored person could achieve, and they in fact the government has cancelled that just because one more person with from nothing. They didn't have any investments. They didn't have any support from a government or whoever. After the invention only, the people come to know. The, those days, people came to know that these people have invented. It was a mega hit. It is a very big turning point in in the history of human mankind. It's it's a very interesting story. I wish you people should really read or get to know about these stories in depth because this session is not about like telling the entire story and moreover the time will not permit us. But these are two interesting factors. for you to understand that anything can be created from nothing that is from scratch you can create if you really have the passion in you the passion is was what we always call us very very important and last but not the least i have, I have one more case study that is amazon amazon which we all know is a very big e-commerce site right and we used to get lot of products from through amazon you know how they started they also started in a garage somewhere there is a coincidence that both of them both of them have started in a garage and it was in a rented home in fact they started selling books books selling is the primary business for the amazon company then they what they did is They, they went. They have created a website. In fact, uh, storage was another vertical for them. Cloud storage. In those days, it was very few people were having. With these two verticals, they become a very big. They established themselves as a company as they are now. These three interesting stories would have given you an idea, like any company. which is big now would have started from a very small from the scratch right and that is what i want you people to have in your mind before starting a business you don't think can i become big can i become this much now you if you really have the passion in you i bet you can become a very big entrepreneur in the future having this in your mind i just want to add my story as i already told you Uh, many of you do not have seen this logo as such because you are uh, maybe because 10 years back we started this business in uh, 2010 i started th this business this is relevant here for you and you know what this is the first time i am opening up this story to the public this is the day today is the first day i am telling it to the public because most of the people who are close to me and in my community in in my business community as well they know because i have already shared this story to those people but this is the first time i'm coming out of my community and sh sharing this to the public for the only reason is you should know the importance of mvp which we are going to touch this how what is the value you think will you will give to this one hour session i want few of you to send, uh, send a chat message just the value of this 
one hour session how much you will pay if you ask to pay if you are told to pay if you are told that this is a paid session how much will you pay or how much you think it is worth i know we have not gone into but i want you people to answer so that you will have a understanding and i also will have an understanding of what you have in your mind can anybody get i want few people to just share in the chat the value of this session in terms of money did you get that I was not able to see the chat messages. Ah, uh, sir, I uh, even I'm looking into that, sir. Maybe as the polls are there, it's not visible or what? No, sir. The poll is not visible. The poll is not visible, but I I'm not able to see the chat messages. Anybody sharing the chats seen. now? Anybody says sharing the messages? Uh, I'm seeing, sir. I'm seeing it. Oh, ma'am, can you able to see? Sir, uh, if we stop sharing the screen, it is possible. It's not visible, ma'am. Uh, yes, sir. One one person have mentioned here uh, for one hour, thousand, thousand five hundred, and uh, yes, there are some messages in the chat, sir. Yes, sir. So okay, people fine. are saying thousand, thousand five hundred. I think we will go with this. I can understand. Uh, that that's enough. just a sampling will do for me and as you rightly say that a uh, one hour session we can bear up to 1000 or 1500 rupees but do you know what i will tell you after finishing this story i will i will ask you the question again and you know the worth of it right and i have already given some hype on this story it's my own story Uh, a real story real thing real thing which happened in my own career and ship career and i was doing in business myself as a second generation entrepreneur i am into printing and we have been doing in paris only very near to your college in fact and we have been doing business for quite long time uh, in fact to be very precise in 1978 my father started and i went got into the business in 1995 and more, more than 25 years i am into business but the point is in 2010 one of my college friend has called me in the morning when i was sitting in the office doing my own business he called me like you have been very successful i have seen you very closely he told he just started this way yeah tell me how i may i can help you well, it's a very casual call i didn't expect anything beyond that then he told i have one investor who can invest some 10 or 15 crores i i was not really interested about hearing that i because i don't have any idea of like going for a funding and on those time so i was okay i was just listening i was just curious about what is going to tell up again and he told i want you to show uh, tell me like what business we can do with that money that that calls we these kind of calls we'll get as you do business people will approach us they will ask for idea advice and those kind of stuff so i thought okay fine it's a very good decent money and uh, 
they are going to give a prank or a friend or how the out the out the plan i asked you told me they will give one by one one crore first and then again over a period of time they can give okay fine i told uh, one of my friend um, very close uh, person is there and he is absolutely a capable person if at all you want to do any business since they are not going to do the business by themselves they want somebody who can do the business they are ready to just give funding right that is the scenario so i told okay the one person is there i can introduce him i can introduce uh, that person to you and you can based on because i know that he is a very capable person only thing is he doesn't have the money in those days that's what my idea because i have seen him doing something in the training industry he was a freelancer and he has shown me some revenue he was able to generate in those days uh, close to 75000 or 1 lakh billing he has shown see he is very close a friend of mine a very childhood friend a little bit younger uh, far younger than me but still he is he was my neighbor so i have seen him right from his childhood he is a very nice person gentleman and i thought this will match because i already since he, there are somebody is there to give some funding and somebody is really like without money just with the idea and struggling to come up in the life i just connected them as i usually do for any other thing i will just on the go i'll just connect people and i'll move on to do my own business that's what happened but and uh, you know what happened they called me for a initial meetings i thought just for the sake of introduc- introducing that person i just went to the meeting then after the meeting they figured out what is the capability of the person what is the potential earning possibility of in that business that is training institute which he was getting done through another company which another infrastructure company which already have in they already have established very big he has some tie up with that company being a single person he was doing a freelancing work he will go to the companies and corporates get training orders and that training orders will be executed in those companies where he, he was having a tie up this is how he was doing his business now i thought if we ha- really have a, a company by himself since he was doing and generating so much of money it will be like they can save lot of money because they have to shell out they have to pay lot of money of his revenue to the company who he was hiring the infrastructures so i thought uh, if we develop the infrastructure by himself like a training institute by himself probably he can make very good business that is why i started thinking about in that line i told uh, i even he showed that how uh, what is the revenue was generating and the, the investors were convinced but you know what they pulled me inside the board they told like since it's a huge money involved i want somebody who is known to us to be in the board of the company Uh, actually i was reluctant but still uh, i want to really to support somebody who was really in need i thought uh, over a period of time this might become a very big business because that, those days in 2010 uh, the 2007 the recession was started in the it industry and we were expecting the uh, business to like regain in a period of because always it's a cycle right any business which will go down over a period of time and then it will come up that's how it happens and i was expecting like most like most of us it will be reviving the entire industry will be reviving by those days and i thought okay it's, it's fair enough that we, i can also be part of that somewhere i took a decision and once i took the decision like i also be part of that board and that becomes my own company and i created this logo myself and i was sitting with them discussing all the ideas how we can go about that and we also we i was doing business by the time i was doing a from 15 years i experienced by the time so i thought uh, we really need to do the market study any big business or any business for that matter you have to have an understanding of the market and we have to make a market study see this being a very bigger business i thought in, uh, before investing we should really uh, test the market understand the market that is the idea i was having in those days that's fair even now it's fair enough so we thought like uh meeting a person who is capable of doing this and we met one person in nungambakam he was ready to do it for us 
they are a very big team they do market research for bigger companies they are i have seen their profile it was very uh, convincing so we took a decision he was asking some 3 lakhs rupees for that and we told him fair enough because we are going to invest crores of money and it's absolutely right to in, uh, put some money into the market survey so they did a wonderful survey it took uh, we were it promised to give by 3 months but after 3 or 4th month it didn't happen we have been waiting then suddenly we took a decision anyway market survey is going to come we know how to do the business and one more person who is already experienced in the business is there with us what is stopping us to start a company straight away then we will discuss on that that was the decision we have taken and in fact we hired a place in annanagar and we started developing the infrastructure you know we have spent by the time we have spent 1 crore into developing a 3000 square feet place and making it as a wonderful awesome uh, world class infrastructure with so many rooms some 18 computers and one server which co- which was costing some 10 lakhs in those days and we have developed a training institute by by the time and this person whom we have given this uh, market research work has completed his work and he called us so the market research is ready we are ready to present to you okay we you come to our office we already developed the office so we can sit in the uh, conference room and we can discuss on that you know what he came he started his presentation the first thing he was telling is the market is not going to revive soon and the way we have to do this business is he has he was telling a business model which will work the business model is you have to go to the colleges and speak to them take orders for training and you have to send your trainers to the college because this brick and mortar model is not is not working is not going to work anymore the old conventional way of doing business which was like having a infrastructure having a classroom you know some Eight, 10 classrooms where we have we had in that uh, 3000 square feet place and also one big lab where hundreds of computers was already been installed we have bought some hundred computers no initially sorry uh, initially we started with the 25 computers by the time we had just 25 computers and we started the business as such but we have spent some one crore by the time and you know what he was telling like this business will not work this way like having an infrastructure and uh, making the individuals to come and pursue the courses it courses year after it is not going to work the trend has changed now it is only you have to go to their place and you have to deliver the training in their college just sending a faculty will will be more than enough by the time we already employed some 16 faculties for different uh, uh, say, uh, courses in fact the courses was into uh red hat even uh, go this one dot net java and those kind of stuff all it it core it courses so we have sourced uh, good faculties and we have already employed them almost we are they are about to join we just signed up and in that time we understand that we should not have invested such a huge money for infrastructure we should have taken only a small office for our address and we should not hire faculties we should always have a agreement with them tie up with them only when we get order we have to call them as a freelancers that is the model which is going to work that is what he has suggested after a very big intensive study in the market and by the time we already lost one crore from our hand and we shared this information to the investor we are we were in panic in those days we shared this information he he, he told like it's up to you to take a decision on this but you have to like uh some uh, run the show or you repay us that is what they told we are shocked to see of course we have invested a small money on that as a share capital but that was very meager and we are we are in a place where we cannot go either way we cannot take decision then what we did is okay 
we thought we can put some more money and do advertisement and try to make this as a success as usual any entrepreneur will have that happened is happened let us start again that's how we started then we started investing again for advertisements every week we invested 1.5 lakhs in the hindu education plus one ad will be there 10 by 10 regularly you would have seen those days in 2010 if you even if you have and to see the paper you will see the our ad advertisements in that every week every monday we started giving advertisement we did what not like we did printed some 1 lakh samplers we did because it's a big company we need to like develop very uh, on a you we cannot go very slow in that kind of a company where we have invested so much of money already so we need to invest something for the uh, promotional activities as such so we also invested for our promotional activities over a period of time some of we managed to get only up to 9 lakhs where our break even was at least 10 lakhs 10 lakhs because only infrastructure is the basic thing and other things will be fine in fact uh, every month we have to shell out some 1 lakh and odd for uh, rent and the other expenses was there and for uh, other things all put together it was a very like uh, we were in a tight corner no doubt on that somehow we struggled our way and then we spoke to the investor then we uh, somehow we convinced them we are just managing we need some more money they also gave some more money again we started another branch in varapani in chandamama building just opposite to kamala theater so there we thought we can make it as a small uh, company and then we can showcase this as a prototype we, can, we want to go as a give franchise to other people because ssi was the company which was giving some 200 franchises they have given already we know the industry by the time in the 3 years we thought we can evolve our company as a company where the main brand will be there and we can give franchise for 1 or 2 lakhs for somebody else throw the state that is the plan so we again we put all our effort somehow it didn't work out and 2013 we thought this is the day we have to take a call and after uh, like shelling out some 5 crores and other uh, more than that we decided not to continue the company and we wind up of course it's a negative thing uh, closing a company is now very from the heart it's very painful but still why i want to share usually you would have seen or heard very success stories but at the same time why it has happened if the session what i am going to give now if i attended in 2010 before me starting into this campaign into this project i would have saved 5 crores of rupees can you believe this somebody was telling like it of course it's worth 1000 rupees or 1500 whatever i i agree with you but the indirect implication it is having in the thought process if the same session somebody else or if somebody else has taken for me i would not have entered into this business as such because before starting the business we need to do the mvp minimum viable product if i didn't do if we per- perceive that this will this is going to happen this is how it's going to evolve and just based on that assumption or intuition alone if you are going into the business yes, any chance and every chance that you fail out and it was a costly for me it, it was very costly for me some of we manage all this 10 years to come out of that and we are doing again catching up with, with our own business but it was really painful i'll go deeper into the mvp though then you will understand then again we will come back to the same story how we would have dealt with this after finishing this mvp right so let's get into a basic fundamental thing as an entrepreneur just hold this story in your mind i'll come back to the story again so what is entrepreneurship you need to have the passion first passion is the most fundamental thing you should have not to just to earn money earning money you can do by any way not that you have to do only business but business is not about only earning money of course it's about profit i don't disagree with you anybody will have that in mind you have to make profit that is no second thought on that but you should have the passion and a purpose why you do this and of course profit making these are the three fundamental thing for you to become a 
entrepreneur and you you have to spread positivity to the not only spreading like you have to earn and give to the stakeholders you know who are all the stakeholders right even your family members are stakeholders in your company as a matter of fact and also who are all depending on your income or stakeholders and the company who are invested vendors everybody is a stakeholder so i will go uh, rush this part little bit quicker this is to uh, how what are the reasons for a person to start a business to be my own boss want to tap my creativity somebody will have, have some creativity they want to explore that they want to make it as a money and to get recognition because straight away you can get recognition by doing a business you will be seen and social status will be there some someone will be having either any one of this or couple of this right and to satisfy me i want, i don't want to work under somebody i want to be myself maybe you you can do a business nothing wrong in it and to create employment that will be wonderful also if really look into this factor it will be awesome to fill a technology gap you can find something a gap in the market you can find you can you may think that you can fill it by the time you can start a business to earn some money of course and unable to find a job there are some people who could not find a job then they will end up doing a business but i don't say they, they they will not succeed but somehow they will find their passion that business and they can also succeed nothing wrong in it who can be an entrepreneur with an idea a vision capable of marshaling the resources and who think differently persistence all this kind of people who can become a who can take risk i want to rush up this is the basics and this is not the core content of today's session but still these are the things i am going to share this people also to you people you can also have your own time this is not very big thing to need explanation or other things but still these are fundamental things that is why i am just sharing this and if you want to become an employee it's a different thing because lot of people will be choosing that way and only few people will choose that way you choose that is entrepreneurship you need self confidence and you should never give up that's very important so prerequisite of an entrepreneur is you should be self disciplined and right combination of ask when i say ask it means attitude skill and knowledge the right combination of attitude and the right combination of skill along with knowledge i would say in our company when we take employees we recruit employees based on this ask we will look into the person who is uh, inter when we are interviewing attitude should be 80% skill if it's okay if it's 10% and knowledge also is okay if they have just 10% that's how we recruit people but there are companies who have uh, more weightage on skills if it is skill based company and very few company will have more weightage on the knowledge i don't say like i am not degrading you do you being a college student now knowledge is very important but at the same time that alone is not enough you need to develop your skill and the attitude plays a very major role even if you want to become an entrepreneur or not as a human being you definitely need to have a very big good attitude attitude is is the primary thing for you to succeed in your life mind my words this is very 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 important that is why i am just staying here although i need lot of things to say you this attitude is predominantly is what uh, develop you as a human being as an entrepreneur or whoever you are going to become so energetic and positive they have to be very energetic and win win attitude should be there because an, as an entrepreneur you cannot say that i only have to win your company should win your employee should win your customer also should get out of good benefit out of it everybody around you should win a win win attitude alone will work you cannot say i win you lose you cannot say that as an entrepreneur you cannot afford to say that and how you handle people matters create a father figure he as a, of course you are mostly i'm, I'm addressing a women's college i know that but still this father figure i when i say father figure mother will take emotional decisions father will take logical decisions always you have seen that in our own family and if you create a father figure in the company they follow you they see you as a idol to be followed i'm i'm talking about your employees okay so they follow you and at the same time they will also has to see you as a father of the company who will also also be very intelligent who will also be i am not degrading by this, by the way about the women they are also do but they take emotional decisions 
that is why i am not say, telling here even it's not me it is the thing told by a big people and i have, i was taught this way and respect everyone as equal relate everybody as they good communicator you has to be a very good communicator you should not be reluctant to speak if i ask somebody to speak you must come forward to speak immediately and because that is very basic thing that gives you confidence when you speak you must be a very good communicator happiness is the source and uh, this is not suppose if somewhere somewhere you fail just diverse the business and start another business nothing wrong in it that's how i did just in case i am also putting that as in, in your mind you have to be very passionate but at the same time i also say that you should never give up at the same time at one point of time if there it is not working out you have to take a call at that point i really purposefully i have this here and the functions of an entrepreneur is planning organizing controlling and directing of course communicating and the type of uh, types of business are there in service professional consultancy services are there where you need not invest much as i already told you don't invest big so always start from scratch for you maybe you can take up some consultancy or idea if you are really good at something else where you can give some ideas that will be a service industry and it and its manufacturing companies are there and trading trading means you need not create a product you can just buy a product from somebody and sell it to somebody else if you are able to buy in bulk you will be getting some discount that discount will be the basis for uh, revenue for you straight away that also will be a uh, lesser risk you can say if you don't invest big probably that will also be good for you and infrastructure building that's a bigger thing here i want to tell you i am going to enter in, into the main subject of today that is second portion is mvp and mvp is a very basic version of your product or service with the single purpose of testing your assumptions and validating your ideas this is what mvp and i do not know that in 2010 so i ended up venturing myself into business and making a very big very big loss if i was educated this how i would have taken the uh, business in those days, if i know this is this three lines this three magical lines if i know by the time i was doing that uh, venture i would have tested first how to test say for the example let us take that as an example as such i have the money uh, somebody is ready to give funding for me uh, so if i want to test myself i would have i would have did in a different way like i would have first try to get the orders instead of having infrastructure we i would have i should have went to the colleges and met the college meet the college people and then get some training orders telling that we have some resources in hand if i tra try that if i get some good revenue out of that over a period of time i should have invested in the business in the infrastructure without investing in the infrastructure if you are able to reach the customer and do some sales and with minimal effort or minimal money that is called mvp that without developing the entire product by assumptions just making a small segment of the product very small portion of the product tested in the market that is mvp minimum viable product one of the case studies i have here is uh, uber you know uber uber when they came initially they didn't have all other added features all value proposition all big things they did have they just add a car which can take you from one place to other place that's all slowly they added that the mvp is the basic thing the basic thing which functions as a product they didn't hire many people they had very small people only initially only when they tested into the market they started adding live tracking of drivers fast splitting automatic payment fast a lot of other features they added on the go this is how a business has to be built a business should start from a very small scratch and you should develop an mvp minimum viable product which is the basic necessity for that business to function maybe in terms of you should not invest too much into inside initially you can try to get some business out of the customer and experience that get the feedback from the from the customer after getting the feedback evolve your business as a business 
before that don't invest money on infrastructure or any capital investment don't do that so this is umas mvp and what are the opportunities we have let us because that's really we will be curious to know the opportunities right so india is a very big market no doubt on that for any business to start you can start any business any number of business you can accommodate because we are population wise we are 130 you know that so we we are uh, second largest in the entire uh, earth and in, in terms of spread of the thing it is seventh largest we know all those kind of store numbers but what what i am trying to say is we can consume whatever we produce here in india that is the biggest advantage very few people across in other countries have you know the, there are a lot of countries in africa land locked countries where around them no sea will be there they cannot transport in fact they have to pay to that country for some materials to reach their country there are a lot of land locked countries we are surrounded by so such a very big uh, coast that is a very big advantage for us to like export or import and as a country any business will work here provided you do it with passion and with enough knowledge and skill and tamil nadu is also tops in among industries so we also have it's a very positive sign right so uh, this is a very big story i don't think i can accommodate this story here like how the china and japan grew but in short i will tell since, since i brought in here it's only to plan do check act you try to google and learn yourself about this pdca uh, mr dr deming <coughs> sorry dr deming was there during the second world war you know what happened the arms and ammunition was uh, when they were in the war the arms was not working what what will happen a lot of people died the army were died so americans were shocked to know that defective arms and ammunition was used they were really shocked that because a lot of uh, trained people were dying they found out the reason the reason is there was not no quality check in the uh, armory where they are making the arms and ammunition that to know that they have lost so much of lives that was history but you know dr deming was there he was called for he was a quality control guru for the globe and he was regarded as a very big uh, quality control uh, iconic person you can even search google of about dr deming he was the reason behind japan is like this now and the simple formula he gave is plan do check act before doing a outright project you plan and just do it for a small way and check it then you take actions again you come to come back to the plan almost it is similar to the mvp that is why i am just explaining you much deeper about this you can learn about this in the google because it will take a lot of time for you to learn and understand what is all about and that is the background at which the japan grew now after the uh, disastrous thing happened in 1947 when the hiroshima and nagasaki was destroyed with that atom bomb they came up very strongly and now they are leading in the electronics and other market when it's all because of this particular simple formula you can study about how the japan become so big and a big nation it is only because of this small thing and the attitude everybody has and china also grew that is a big story i don't think it's relevant now we will catch up somewhere later and the opportunities you have in the business again coming back to business networking wherever there are a lot of opportunities are there i just listed here to the extent what i could in the technology part of it as i am going to share this you can also have a look on this so others other than technology what are other things which is really working out food cake making is a very interesting thing a lot of people are doing it now and specialized menu like if you say for example murugan idli is one of the easy success story they concentrated on only one product idli and they gave a lot of you know chutneys along with that and different varieties and they have become specialized when you are specialized always you are given importance when you are starting a business you don't start as a general restaurant just if, if you are starting into, into the food industry don't just be generic always be specific this is another important point you have to note down don't be generic always be specific you be a specialized person 
you may think that i will get only small customer if i want more customer i need to do everything no don't think think that way do just small one thing simple thing and do go deeper into that you become the authority of that you become the pioneer of that if possible you try to innovate on one particular thing and then go with that one one key thing slowly you can add product, product and verticals later so energy energy sector when i say energy i am not think, speaking about my energy i am speaking about the energy sector energy sector is one of the important thing where you have the windmill solar all kind of energy battery operated things because we are going to witness in one or two years i am not telling about 5 years or 10 years in one or two years you can see lot of battery operated cars on the road it is the future you can have a stall for battery shop you can have, develop a battery shop you can develop uh, companies related to or related to what is going to happen this is going to be a very big market since any market when you when you join in the market from the beginning you can become very big this is one of the easiest way of becoming very big company energy battery related things is a very big thing and robotics we all know it, it has been told very from even 10 years back also it was told that in the future but still now it is became operational in many industries they are using robots they are using uh, robots as like reduce the uh, cost employees cost and they getting the repetitive jobs getting done through the robotics and franchisee is another simple thing you can go and take franchisee for a bigger company which is already in profit so that you need not take much risk initially you can test for mvp i would recommend initially go with the franchisee if you are in any industry if you want try to take franchisee in a, any small company experience yourself the business they will also guide you as a franchiser they will not let you down they will support you over a period of time you learn how to do the business then you can switch over your business to a bigger business of your own and you can create your own brand this is also another uh, recommended thing and you can vendor uh, amazon and flipkart because already they are established you can just post your advertisement other things just uh, sell your product through this if your product is selling through that media and the trend assetless model is the trend asset light model is the trend now instead of developing investing too much of money you can invest very small money and make it very light model don't invest too much into the business inclusive business you can include other people also into your business you can collaborate with others this is one other uh, this is how people are doing you know how i can say even uh, ola or uber how they do business they are not owning any car you know that they are not owning any car what they do is they have an agreement they have signed up an agreement with the people who are owning a car they are just creating a platform for them to win they for them to earn also they are also earning by that that's all collaborative business model where you need not invest much of course they invest they invested in their uh, softwares that is there but they didn't invest in the infrastructure already i told you franchise model is another model and online business is catching up but online business i would say you can it you can cannot be, become very big in a very short time because you need to invest lot of money it is going to be a challenge although it is a trend i don't recommend online business immediately because you need to explore lot of things aggregator model is ola and uh, uber model where you they have just been aggregator you can also enable there are forums which enable you to do a business and health conscious other things also there these are the trends as of now if you look into investor what the investors look just uh, fast look at this because for us to understand it's not that you have to go and get funding immediately but you have to understand what they expect at least you develop or uh, strengthen yourself based on that expectations feasibility scalability you know what is feasibility right whether this project is feasible whether it is viable whether this will become a success whether you can make a break even on that on scalability how we can grow it bigger if a company which cannot be grown bigger you should not opt that as a business mind my words you have to think when you start itself you have to think what is the market size and what is the market share you are going to take from that market size when i say market share it means that say for example some 3 crores people are there in chennai 
I don't know. I don't know the number exact number. I'm just telling you a number. If you want to do business, FMCG business, fast moving consumer goods. That is a consumer product, some hair oil or something. Just imagine. If you are trying to do that, you have to see how many people are there with hair. That is three crores, if you say, and that is market size. What is the market share you are going to take out of it? For example, I am going to serve for fifty thousand people. I am going to serve for uh, one lakh people. Then that is market share. So you have to look a business from a larger perspective. That is market size. Then you have to arrive at to whom you are going to address. Who is your target customer? And you have to arrive that particular point as that is market share. The share you are going to take from the market, that is from others' pocket. And you, I also want you to look into this reason for the business failure. Here comes this absence of market study and MVP. In fact, we did market study in our own case. And going back to that, as I told you, just hold that in the mind. Now I'm going to tell you, had this been the I, I did this MVP. I would not have started the business. I would have started with the scratch. Just made a basic model, understood that how and see, and just to make it prove to myself, then I would have started the business as such. So that is how you have to like start. You have to start as a prototype, start as a small thing, try it, test it. Don't spend too much of money before testing it. That is where the MVP plays a major role. The minimum viable product is without added features. the basic product with the basic need it is serving to the consumers so these are the factors uh, ma major factors for the failures when we fail when we do not know uh, the, we are when we are not experienced in that naturally it fail lack of usp unique selling proposition is all about the differentiating factor from you for you compared to other competitors that is usp If somebody else is not able to give, and you are able to give it, that is usually sometimes you take up a small shop in a corner in your uh, nearby location. The USP may be the location also sometimes. The people who are in there, your uh, thing, uh, your uh, street, need not go far away to go and get the product. Maybe they will be, uh, you may be accessible for them. Maybe that particular point of uh, that particular point could be a USP, right? But not necessarily always the location. You can also have something, some unique selling proposition like only you can give that. Only you can provide if that is a personal touch, and only you can give that. For example, if you are professional, and the way you handle the people, it will be absolutely unique than the way how the other competitors are handling. So you have to figure out this USP. You, you not necessarily have to figure out initially. You can over a period of time, this could happen. Unprofitable business model. If it is not profitable for it, just in case, in my case, that that wasn't a profitable business model in those days because I would have started much earlier, or I, I should not have did that. But that, in those cases, definitely you are going to fail. And poor financial manager. If you are not able to manage your finance, which is the backbone of any business, definitely you cannot expect that to come very big. And mismatch of demand and supply. That yeah, even economics. basic economic cities so mistimed business if you are starting business at the wrong time that's it so you have to also look into the possibility of when it's going to start too much dependency on few yes these are the four forums i recommend you can join to get to know more about businesses and i am done for the day yeah sir we have taken a note of this as we have uh, knowing lot of forums to develop our entrepreneurial skills and unfortunately yes is uh, yes doesn't allow uh, female uh, members it's only male members 
you can join b uh, women entrepreneurs is there but i don't think it's very active here in chennai in it's in madurai anyway you can look into joining tai or cii or mma or bna whatever it is these are the forums available around us there, there are a lot of other forums also you choose any forum which is convenient for you speak with your known people and join that you have to associate with like minded people the reason for joining this kind of forum is like minded people will be around you they will guide you a lot you need always you need somebody to keep supporting you all the time i am done with the day i i am open for the questions now students kindly share your questions in the chat box students kindly share your questions in the chat box or else you can unmute yourself and you can chat students you can unmute yourself and you can talk i want people to inter be interactive because you people are about to start a business you are not able to pose a question i will get the answer you must know what to ask yes students please use the opportunity come forward with the questions and get clarity anyway i am ready to answer any questions since somebody asked like how you overcame gut feeling you have to back up your decisions no other option and luckily till now whoever were there in the business till we are friends we never had any single moment where uh we never showed the different face in fact still now we are very very much connected we are still very good friends we we took an attempt it failed we are mature enough to understand that and luckily maybe that is also a reason but uh of course uh, we have to sell one property and make it up that is a, in financially it is very big thing somehow we managed it but you need to back your decisions no the choice right or wrong you have to go with it i would i would be interested to ask questions pertaining to your own way of thinking on doing business for your own uh here's a question uh sir how did you overcome after such big failure of five crores yeah just now i answered it uh, anybody else i would be more interested to answer your own specific questions what you are going to do what is the challenge you think you will face pertain to because this is a big opportunity for you to speak see i have some 25 years of experience in business so probably i will be able to give you some suggestions from my own experience from my whatever i know i don't say i am right always but definitely that will have a added value for you I'm waiting for some questions here. Yeah. <laughs> Lot of people told they will be doing business, which is the good source of funds for investments. I didn't get your source of funds. Business is a very good source of funds. You can get good uh, revenue from business. I would say that when you do business, don't try to invest. too much into other businesses or other investments reinvest mark this word very strongly reinvest the money in your own business again and again because when you start reinvest if you take off money from the business over a period of time it will become very lean only it will be very thin you have to make the business much bigger your own business gives you 
bigger inter- rate of interest usually a business gives you 20% returns for per annum any other investment will give you 6% or 7% or 5% or even 10% for that matter not more than 10 you will get any business you do any business will give you 20% so when you start reinvesting in your own business you are sure of getting at least a good decent because this is a tough thumb rule any business you should get 20% per annum uh so here we have one question from akash gupta i have started i have started a startup based on the fmcg sector so i was doing a best market research on user behavior long back so i found a few customer data from the top e-commerce website so should i depend on the data for my whole uh, analyzing or such take notes for the sense i have some viable uh, metrics so i need a suggestion how would you how would i use that data for my fmcg startup so uh, when you do the market research the research in online is called as primary research where you go and uh, that's a very good idea like looking into the customers feedback in the same fmcg sector but the point is i would recommend Uh, you to look into those customers who are really whether they are fall inside the target customer bracket when i say that if your target customer is if you believe that the same target customer is answering that you can also take that words if you they are from a different uh, geographical location if they are not your target customers if whatever they say you need not take that as a point if, if the customer who are reviewed is and inside the your target customer segment definitely you can definitely have that considered that will have weightage for you that will give you some meaning definitely you can take a decision on that to start a run a business is necessarily important to have a big network not necessarily a uh, lot of people around you that is a very big network opportunity that that will only give you initial mileage only give you the basic thing only in the initial stage you can go to a, to an extent you can sell to only known people but don't depend on that network alone you have to depend on the process you create sir here is the questions few more questions i have um which actually she has mentioned which is the good uh, source of fund it is not actually where we should get a fund where we can get the fund that is what the question actually she has posted sir which is the and, source uh, of funds for investments and the one more question how did you handle adversity and doubt yeah good and this adversity out of our own intuition and we have to speak with people around us if we have doubt again the only way to get out of it you have to speak with the experts you have to reach mentors did you ever heard about mentors people who are ready to support who are ready to give you uh, suggestions ideas and who do not have any stake in that that is very important if somebody is giving you some suggestion ideas you are looking to the place where place what they have they have they do not have any stake they do not have any stake then they become your mentor you can always depend on your mentor i have few mentors for for us for me our different verticals i have different different mentors uh, mentors for example for uh, uh, financial decisions i i depend on my auditor who is my close friend because he is the expert in that we have to either we must be expert or we have to hire an expert that is the basic thing idea you should have and you should accept people you should accept other people don't think that i know everything that will not work 
no business person in the world knows everything you only have people who know things instead of you knowing everything you hire people who know or if you are not able to hire just have them as a mentor get some advice get, get some ideas then come out one more question sir the question is this what kind of criteria is required rather than the basic fund like uh, fund or idea fine the first thing is you look it deeper inside you what is that which drives you why you want to become an entrepreneur or a business person or business woman why you want to become a business woman the reason is you have to figure out the reason from within you if you want to prove to something somebody that i want to become very big i want to become very rich or something like that no that will not be a very big reason you have to see if you are really concerned about other people if you are really concerned about addressing the issues in the common way if you, if you see some very big issue and if you think that you can solve that you can definitely pursue for one of the big example is uh, red bus the owners were once they were about to travel from bangalore to chennai they were not able to get a seat in a bus but at the same time when they were searching in one place next street there were buses with a lot of vacancies which was going vacant so he want to understand that this is the issue for everybody so he created that red bus uh, software where they know which of the bus is having a vacancy at at that given point of time they just went and approached there straight away now what happened instead of going and searching physically just in the app we were, we were able to locate which of the bus is going vacant where we can book a seat because he found the problem and he found a solution if you are able to address a solution for a bigger problem in the society nothing like that that will become a very big hit in a business always you are satisfying you are actually fulfilling a need of the customer that is where the business come into the existence it is not about uh, getting money profit and earning money that is that is an outcome that will always be there but the real purpose will be to give a solution to the customer whatever you do as a business is all you are providing a or facilitating the customer to have that service or product because they are, they are in need of that you are providing you are satisfying their need that is where the business come into the existence you have to understand the basic thing of a business so wherever you are able to put yourself where you can solve a problem of a, a community or a bigger audience for example one of the biggest problem what we have is charging everybody has a mobile but still mobile android mobile in most of the mobile one full day it is taking well not even one full day the charge is like exhausted before the end of the day there are few mobiles in fact i have better mobile i am able to uh, mean manage to the entire day but there are it's a big problem right if you are trying to like figure out a solution for this this is a very big nas- national or global problem if you look into the problem which is a very big and if you are able to find a solution for that that becomes your business by itself if that solution itself you can take you can with that idea you can go forward and find out you just figure out where you are painful where you uh, ma- uh, experience the pain when what services or if for example if you go to a shop if you go to a restaurant in your place if the taste is not good and still they are managing to for a very many years you can definitely take a decision like i can also have a very good food i can provide whatever the customer is not experiencing here they will experience in my restaurant you can tell that just for example i'm telling you as a customer if you are experiencing uh, pain point if if you are able to address the same pain point by business that becomes successful i think i have explained you enough for you to understand this right sir there's a question uh, from youtube also uh, tasleem fatima has given this question uh, sir i am interested in digital marketing which is the best platform for it interested in digital marketing in the sense you want to 
promote a business as a digital marketer or you want to promote your product through digital marketing i want clarification for this um i'm waiting for her uh, thing before uh, there's one more question sir uh, from uh, jay lakshmi of first webcom which area or a place in chennai is suitable for business startup it is not about the area it's it's all depending on what type of business you are going to start if you be it is specifically based on the people around there if you want to establish a place you have to look a potential place because one thing i want to tell you uh, it's jayashmi right one thing i want to tell you hatsan agro and arun ice cream everybody knows about, about arun ice cream right i don't think anybody will do not know arun ice cream arun ice cream case study if you look into they established their business in rural areas they did not start their business in the city in fact they were in the city they moved from city to the rural they established themselves had their strong foot first 10 years they made only 9 crores of business as an annual turnover they were making only 9 crores at the 10th year and the 30th year they were doing 5000 crores how they managed this this is in harvard university case study one of the biggest success story in the world not only india arun ice cream why is they, they they are the first company to think in a different way they started in the rural in the small small towns tier 2 tier 3 cities that they started that uh, arun ice cream brand by the time they reach chennai they already become a very big company then they started competing with the bigger players they won the game and they became very big rural penetration they were the pioneer they were the first company to do that so what i mean to say is it's not about the location but maybe for some business it is of course the location matters unless otherwise i would say from anywhere you could do any business overall but if it is location based where your target customers are definitely you have to look for any location it is not that only in the prime location do people do business any location you can become make it as a prime depending on the business you do and depending on the product you give even for that matter you know irtikada alwa or trinalveli many people would have heard about that we do not know where they are it is very in a very uh, it is not in the prime place they made it as a prime just because they have the product in such a way that everybody got attracted they came there so business is all about like attracting or pulling the people from wherever you are that will be much better but in few cases I, i don't say 100% is okay but in few cases especially restaurant or eateries it is if in the place where they are in the move or in that location you have to look into that location to an extent thank you okay. thank you so one more question one of my student have asked this uh, i was actually doing uh, reselling items ma'am but now because of pandemic i am unable to make it she is actually zara from bbm sir reselling means what what kind of product they are reselling uh, she said the articles like uh, how house made items like that sir okay if they have the passion in in that uh, like they have to look into like business not only to make money out of it money will definitely will come anybody who do business their money will will be there. one second sir yeah anybody who do the uh, business money will be there for them always but you need not go behind the money money should come behind you what you do is what matters if with passion what you do is what matters so you if you see this as a just a money earning opportunity it it becomes very cheap for you it will not work for you business is not the only money earning opportunity you can always work in a company and earn money for yourself that is not a thing but business is all about passion you have to pursue your passion you have to fulfill your own happiness you have, you have to feel very blessed to do this then you will involve yourself into your business and you will make you find out your own ways in which you can uh, make it successful 
Sir, uh, once again, uh, Taslim Fatima have given the answer. She has given a question: uh, Which digital platform is viable to uh, promote my product? Uh, what product? Uh, she has not mentioned the product, sir. As mm -hmm. I've so many times, she has given the same answer. We In need full information to answer any question, right? Because I cannot assume what they will sell, and I cannot tell something else. That will be misguiding. I am very conscious in that. Maybe, uh, see, uh, so some products will become hit in some digital platforms. Instagram is there where only youth are there. If you want to sell a product which is consumed by a youth, Instagram is the product. Instagram is the channel you can promote. When you promote in a Facebook, Facebook all forty plus. Previously it was only younger generation. Now. most of the facebook is only viewed by 40 plus people when you want to promote a product for a 40 plus target customer you can promote and in fact in facebook you have interesting thing is you can specifically hit to the target customer exactly you can market to only you can show your advertisement only to that specific target customer lot of opportunities are there. they will they nowadays students know how to do that you can explore yourself or else you can look into the videos where you will be guided you can look into the youtube videos how to promote in a facebook you will get lot of videos you can learn yourself or you can speak with your expert then you can start doing it facebook and linkedin where you can reach only professionals if you are going through a market through linkedin it is a little bit costlier but linkedin where you can get the exact professional if you want to reach the very high profile people you have to go and promote your business or product in linkedin and in twitter you you can reach or access iconic people bigger people you can interact with them but you you cannot promote big in that but if you have some good followers over a period of time you feel you are seen as a thought leader in social media and other things you need to spend time establish yourself so that people follow and youtube is a very easiest way of reaching people youtube is there you can make that like if you finish viewed more than by 1000 people you can get some revenue but the revenue is very 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 meager you cannot depend on the revenue you get from the advertisement of the you, you uh, and uh, in the youtube but you have to you can promote your business as a visual or video pro, video promotions because in youtube you can promote your video and the same video can be like linked in the instagram or facebook or what not you have lot of uh, digital platforms but thing is based on your product you have to take a decision where your target customer will be you have to decide from there you have to always think from the customer's point of view don't think from your point of view you may like something that is immaterial what the customer likes is what matters where they will be is what matters when they will be is what matters you have to answer these questions where when in which platform they will be available so you have to go and display that in that place if you want to promote a health drink you have to go and search for the people who are doing exercise in the morning right morning people will be going going for jogging you can have a stall in a place where people will be coming there that is you have to go to the customer and promote yourself so similarly in social media look into places where your products will be sold only by identifying your target customer and be very clear who your target customer will be then look where they will be available in the social media yes is the question sir from dr m priyanka at what stage we can expect profit from the business a uh, very uh, interesting question again it's a basic question still but the, it depends it depends on businesses there are business any for any given point of time most of the businesses you must be able to get the break even i don't say i don't even say profit break even is no cost no profit no loss break even is what is called as no profit no loss at least is in one year we must reach the break even point there are businesses which will work only after 3 4 years for example flipkart for example amazon you know what a flipkart yet to make a profit but they made their net worth bigger they sold it that is a different game forget about them in regular course of business one year will be the ideal time but there is no thumb rule it is only based on understanding i am telling you one year depending on the business it will make because if you invest too much into the capital side of it 
maybe you have to wait for a longer time if you have invested lesser capital maybe you can get sometimes even little bit earlier if you are doing only trading without investing much infrastructure in the same transaction also you can get some extra profit same time but as a business on a whole any or invested business in a place where you have uh, office or something like that one year will be the now regular time normal time sir i have a question yes um, yeah so it's a, it's the continuation to your answer so i just wanted to ask you one thing that suppose um uh, uh let's say i'm starting a business in into a fmcg sector and it's a skin care brand and i just wanted to make sure that my customer retention should be there the customer should come back so is it really viable uh, is it really okay if i sell the product in a little less margin or maybe a no profit no loss just to get those customers and once i reach that particular stage where i know that my customers would come back then i can increase the price then i can work on the pricing is it okay to start with that or is it really to start with a good uh, pricing strategy with a good realization cost uh, that's a very interesting and specific question i'm really happy to answer this first thing is the if the differentiating factor i was telling about usp unique selling proposition that is the base at which your business evolves any business evolves right the usp try try to be avoiding pricing factor as a major factor because if you have the price as a major component for you to acquire the customer people who come to you for the only factor like pricing is cheaper those customers you cannot retain when you increase the price they are very uh, smart enough to look into other places that shift over a period of time you lose the customer whoever who came to you only because of the factor that you are giving at cheaper price if somebody some customer you have to understand you have to determine on what basis your customer is coming inside uh, uh, becoming a customer for you on the basis of price if somebody comes there is every possibility you will lose them for some other person who will be giving at a cheaper price compared to you over a period of time so i would say value proposition is the key thing value proposition whatever the value based on which the customer is coming to you you have to de- define that you have to really work on that if the differentiating factor is something else definitely you can hold the customer there are few very 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 few people who win in pricing for example sarana store they are cheaper the cheap is the most important thing for them but you know what now the legend do you, do you say that legend is very cheap now whatever you purchase from the i want to mention the name because we need to understand that usually in social forum we are not supposed to mention the name of the company but it is learning unless you say the company's name you cannot understand it do you anybody knows that everybody can say legend is not cheaper but sarana store the brand by which it evolved it started is only from cheap they evolved as a company now they had that big pocket they were able to leverage their pioneering advantage but everybody cannot do that now especially at this point of time i would say don't ever say that i am cheap in fact the premium customer you will be losing one thing is the premium customer will be looking for the value not the money and the customer who came inside for the money will always shift to some other company where they are giving very a cheaper price i hope i answered you yes sir i am very straight in this and very strong in this because it is how it is yes sir completely i agree on this so uh, uh since uh, my business into a red ocean business uh, this means that uh, there are multi lot of competitions there just because i'm into a red ocean so that is why i was getting these thoughts uh, to work on the pricing so uh, do if you are able to sorry interrupting you uh, if yeah. you are able to uh, do business for a very longer time if you have fund with you if you have others fund people will play this game if you don't have others fund if you are mobilizing funds from your side i would recommend don't go for the pricing policy if st- pricing strategy will not work lower price cheaper price you will get business and all will not work that is very cheap business you cannot sustain the business for a longer period you look at work on the value proposition value proposition is the most important thing if you are able to identify that and project that value as a differentiating factor definitely you will win again you can continue sorry interrupting 
yeah no problem sir it's totally okay so how would i tackle the competitions since the competitors are already selling in a way to lesser price with a no, what is the to, product what is the product it's a skin care brand Let, let's say a himalaya or maybe lotions are there and it's totally a personal care and a skin care brand so as you were as you, you, were you are you are reselling or what i'm i'm actually a, i'm actually building a product a new brand you are building a brand then you yeah. need to worry about that it, it, it's a long process but still it's a very interesting and very secure process i would say you can definitely go for that and yeah, it's exactly. affected the market of course we know that it's already the market is jump packed but you have to identify the differentiating factor and you have to build testimonials you yeah, have yeah. to like get the customers used to that and then they have to speak you try to sell the product to a uh, lot uh, prominent people Okay. and then get a interview get an uh, interview from them post that interview in the youtubes and you have that as a testimony those kind mm-hmm. of stuff the pr activities i am telling yeah. I, i believe you know that pr yes, already already work into a digital yeah. marketing you have to there. work on the pr activity yeah. to develop that product each yes. product has to be dealt in a different way yeah. and since you are developing your own brand you definitely have a very big uh, like value proposition you can build it. you have to be very clear one thing is very you be very clear don't say that everybody is my customer that will not work you define your customer very clearly this particular segment only i am going to handle you just focus in that segment and give them you know what that uh, fair and uh, fair and lovely was there no one product yeah yeah now yeah. it's been changed to uh, no uh, fair and handsome Yeah, no. Uh, the fair word has that been. That handsome is for a uh, men's, right? Yeah, yeah. Now it's yeah. glowing lovely. The fair word has been gone. Ah, uh, yeah, fair has gone. Yeah. It's glowing lovely because a lot of uh, debate was there. Okay, yeah. this fair, fair and handsome word product is there. That is for men. men. Mm-hmm. Till that moment, everybody was taking the fair and lovely and using a lot of uh, men's were using their sisters or elder sister or younger sister fair and lovely, but they thought that they, this is the need. you have to figure out the need of the market they okay. came up with a brand handsome they have mm-hmm. become very successful you know that yeah yeah yes so completely so you have to figure out where is the need you have to really look deeper inside and go deeper inside you will definitely figure out the need for the that space you will find a face space where you you call this as a need gap analysis mm-hmm. i don't want to go yes. deeper inside the technical part of yeah, it yeah. i am addressing a fundamental mm-hmm. students i don't yeah. want to go much deeper inside the business yeah yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> so need gap analysis has to be done and you have to figure out where the need is where the gap is and you have to fill that gap definitely okay, you sir. always that is the gap yeah you uh, is, yes thank you so much sir sir one last question is it really okay if i ask you i hope i'm not taking too much of time no issues yeah i am okay as long as others are okay uh i guess the everyone would be okay so yeah uh, i previously asked you one question about the analysis that i was doing it so long back i was uh, doing the market research so i came up with the data i already i you already answered that it's just that continuation to that question so in that particular data i found out that 70% of the customers have came through the digital marketing platform so they maybe they have fallen into a, a, a maybe some ad or maybe something like that so 70% of them are coming from the ad uh, ads uh, digital marketing point of view and the rest 30 were, uh, were the organic reach so should i consider the organic one uh, though the numbers are small as the top most priority since the organic customers are there over the digital marketing one or should i believe into my instincts or should i believe into that digital marketing one because there are certain products nikke mudike matta oru mani varaiku illutite irupanga nu nenikiren ऑर्गेनिक सेगमेंट देर वॉज सर्टन प्रोडक्ट and in the digital market when there were other products so what's your point of view sir yeah actually speaking uh, each people find their own way of selling it there some channel will work for some business somebody will 
create a channel for them when i say channel that means by which you advertise uh, the it may be digital platform even digital there are a lot of options as you rightly said organic and social media marketing yeah in uh, other than that in uh, regular uh, conventional business there are a lot of other options as well but point is you have to figure out like how you can reach them very innovatively when mm -hmm. i say innovation innovation means not necessarily that you have to go with the given rules you create your own rule you create your own way of doing it you can figure out the ways by which you can reach also in a different way maybe you can have a tie up with already established company distributors fmcg distributors you can also distribute you know one product called haldirams yes sir did you ever seen any advertisement uh no no sir then how they were able to reach the market uh i guess the distributor distribution, again, because, yeah. they win, win by distribute see there are different case studies different companies they will find their own ways to means to achieve it only thing is you have to put your brain i would recommend you sit in a separate silent place every day at least one hour or two hours one and only for thinking you can be the best person to decide on that you can definitely figure out some place where since you are so passionate about doing your own business you can definitely figure out your own way of ways of doing it in a different way where you can achieve more and believe me collaboration is the one of the easiest thing which is working now you collaborate with the right person you can reach to a lot of people instantly instead of you putting your own effort from the scratch i mean the in the social media side i would say paid thing is you have to make you have to try an attempt like mvp is as i already told you you have to make an attempt see what you spend what you get over a period of time see whether it is viable for you to continue the same way if it is viable you continue in that media because what you spend you will get more about that if you are not getting more than what you spend over a period of time maybe one or three months or you can wait up to a three, quarter or so for instant i'm telling you an example of up to th three months after three months still if it's not working out maybe you have to look into the time factor of that as well then you can take take a decision on that but i would recommend you put your brain and mind inside this sit for tire hours together and figure out ways in which you can promote your business definitely you can get a lot of ideas which no it is not that don't think what is working for others think what will work for you always everybody is unique and the product also is unique and you can figure out a different way ways in which and others will start following you okay okay thank i think so this is the last question yeah uh, this yes. is the last question yes yes and, totally. uh, thank you so much yeah thank you sir thank you for the participation please give your drop your feedback sir please and uh, girls those who are really feeling it's uh, you're taking time you can quit the people have really want some uh, inputs from the session please stay back with us okay thank you and so this is the final question now uh, vandana uh, has given this question sir i am interested in product selling business my question is how to become these business going to high sir how to become uh, this business can grow Uh, i think she mean it any business any business will grow if you are really are passion i repeatedly use the word passion the reason is unless you have the passion to drive the business nobody will come and support you people will just guide you that's it including me or whoever it is but you have to be in the driver seat you have to take it along when you are driving the vehicle you cannot expect somebody else to come and put the accelerator they can just guide you where is accelerator where is brake where, where is clutch you have you have to drive it right so you are in the driving seat if you have that conviction in you you will definitely make it a very big company any company usually they don't think too much in, in the early stage definitely they will make it over a period of time they will make it happen that is how it has happened in the history that's how it will happen for you also you should have the conviction in you only then it will happen other people will just support from outside as you grow you can definitely grow if you think you will thank you for giving a lot of insight in this uh, startup sir i think our girls have really got a uh, very good uh, inspiring thoughts from you sir as i agree uh, 
I will invite uh, Shakti Bharati to unmute, unmute yourself and uh, give a word of thanks. Shakti Bharati, are you in? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, please carry on. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, a startup is a human institution designed to create a new product or services under conditions of extreme uncertainty. It's great to propose a vote of thanks on behalf of IQAC and Institution Innovation Council of Sri Kanyaga Parmeshwari Arts and Science College for Women. First, I would like to thank our resource person, Mr. K. Jodi Shankar, sir, for a uh, uh, founder of uh, Chennai and managing trustee in Karpahambal Education Trust. Thank you, sir. It's a wonderful session and highly informative and innovative. And uh, it's very, uh, your handling this session is a very interesting. And thank you for uh, answering the question. It's very useful for everyone, sir. I thank our management members for giving us an opportunity to have a session on lean startup and minimum viable product. I thank our honorable correspondent, Sri Gugulam Ramesh, sir, and our dynamic principal, Dr. T. Moganeshri, ma'am. Vice Principal Dr. P. B. Vanita, ma'am, and Academic Vice Principal Dr. M. B. Napine, ma'am, for the constant support. I also thank for guidance given by IIC President Dr. M. R. Sumati, ma'am, and Vice President Dr. B. Rani, ma'am, Convener Dr. N. Nirmala, ma'am, and IIC Coordinator Dr. A. S. Nagalata, ma'am, Innovation Staff Members Ms. Shushma S. Chavla, ma'am, and Ms. Madhuvine, ma'am and members, student members of innovation activities. Finally, I thank our faculties and students who took part and supported from the, from the beginning to the end. Thank you, sir, and thank you all. I request everyone to kindly switch on your video for a group photo. Sir, Sir Jyoti Shankar, sir. Sir, you're in mute, sir. Yes. I request all the participants to switch on your video to take, take a group snap, please. Sruti, Vidya, and others. Ma'am, one second feedback link, ma'am. Yeah, sure, dear. I will be. I'll be sending it. Please take a group snap. I thank all the participants are spending the valuable time here and getting the knowledge from maybe enlightening this session. I will be giving you uh, some sort of inputs in your future while you're starting the business. I'll thank all the participants, students and the staffs for supporting our event. Thank you one and all. Thank you. Ma'am, one second feedback link, ma'am. Yeah, dear, I'm sending. Think you got it now? Thank yes, you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you.